so just picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace. Freaking still, freaking still. Everything is intact, everything's there. The motor doesn't run. Guy said he was trying to get it running, but he couldn't. But uh, it is a Bluebird aerator. It is fairly large. It's belt driven on this half down to a pulley. But long story short, we're going to see if we can get this engine running. And uh, I poured a little gas in the, in the, uh, the carburetor hole like, when I went and bought it from them. It didn't fire, so I think it might have no spark. So we're just going to check the spark plug out real quick and see what we get. It looked like it ran on this plug. Let's get back in there, baby. All right, I think that's grounded pretty good. Nope, no spark. The kill switch. Kill switch is not on. No spark. Okay. So, this plug is obviously brand new. Um, I gotta pull this side cover off. And, uh, we're gonna check this kill switch wire and make sure it's not touching ground or anything. And we're also gonna pull this cover off. And we're gonna check behind this pull start. Check the coil. And, and um, we're gonna see if the magnets on the uh, flywheel are dirty because it's a possibility they rusted up. It looked like this thing sat for a long time. When I pulled the air cleaner off, it was stuck in there pretty good. And uh, the gas doesn't smell like gas anymore. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some tools, to get that cover right back, get that cover off and yeah. Okay, so I was taking off this cover and I couldn't get the screw in the back out right here, but I pulled it back and I peeped in there. You guys can't really see too well, but uh, I noticed this, this the kill switch wire, it was coming back this way. So I start tankering with it and then look at that. Sorry, I had the camera all messed up, but the kill switch wire was grounded out. So no way this thing would ever have spark like that. So we're gonna put these 10 mils back and try that again. All right, we got the 10 mils on, let's see. Oh, we got a good old, yeah. Yeah, let's put that back in, pour some gas and see if we can get her to pop over. I forgot to pause it, but anyway, we got some gas inside the carburetor, spark plug back in, kill switch off. Let's see. Woo! Oh, that thing sound good, it sound good, it sound good, it sound good. All right, we need to move on to carburetor. We have spark. That carburetor actually looks really good in there. And the fuel tank actually doesn't look half bad. So what I'm gonna do is just pour gas in it. Let me see if there's much of anything in here. It's a, a little bit of varnish seal left in there, but uh, I'm gonna just pour some gas in there out of curiosity to see if it will run at all. And uh, yeah. Oh, great. I got some fresh gas in the tank. I'm trying to set you guys up. Fresh gas in the tank. Let's see what happens. Can't believe he sold me this thing for 300 bucks just because the kill switch. Wow. It's looking like we're going to have to go through that carb. Goes a pull cord.
simple answer to that is we will be doing carburetor work in the morning getting dark. All right, so I just got that carburetor off of there and uh, I just poked the wire brush through there and uh, I got this one unclogged. I never mess with one of these carburetors, so I don't really know what's supposed to be clogged and what's not supposed to be clogged. But I don't think anything's supposed to be clogged, if you know what I'm saying. So, if I could take my lips and... I don't think that's supposed to be that clogged, but this jet was definitely clogged, and I got that cleared up. But, uh... Yeah, I'm trying to do bare minimum. I don't want to have to take this apart and buy gaskets and all that shit, and, uh, yeah, if I'm gonna buy anything, I'm buying a brand new carburetor, but, uh, okay, I figured out why I couldn't get nothing through this tube, this right here is completely clogged, and, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to save this diaphragm, because this stuff is like peanut butter. But, uh, I'm going to go try to get it off, and, uh, hopefully I can save it. Maybe it's good enough to run. And, uh, yeah, throw a little bit of, uh, I don't know, something just to seal it up and test it out. We'll see how it goes. Alright, I pretty much got everything cleared out. I think feels like diaphragms are still working so that's a good sign I'll go ahead and put this back on there and see if it'll run under its own power on his own power sweet okay well it runs I'm gonna put all this back on all right carburetors back together I didn't put the kill switch back I left the kill switch wire off the side like it was it's fine for me it shuts it off it starts up uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this pull start cover off and start fixing this pull start now. Oof. 
I wonder. I don't. I gotta figure out where this scratch came from. Gotta check the cameras. gonna go get a different pull cord and I'll be right back All right. so basically what I'm going to do is try to get this hole lined up with this hole and then I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna stick that one through and let it round itself back in so, right there there see it's lying straight up here oh it's lying straight up here get that like that take you like a screwdriver or something stick it in the crack so it can't move like that cut this off It's still caught. I got lucky. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. I got to put more tension on his spring and uh, start all over again. And I think I just broke the spring. Nope, didn't break the spring. Keep going. Get it nice and tight so when you put the rope on, it pulls it back in. Got uh, sit here and let you guys watch me fuck up so you know how to not fuck up so thank me later okay Again, she's lined up. You either heat this up with a lighter or you just wet it. Stick her in a hole. I'm actually quite good at this because I stick things in a hole quite often. Get in there. Alright. Now tie you a good ass knot on the end of this bitch. Keep it short, keep it short. Nice tight little knot. Pull that back through. Stick that in there. Get your damn shit out the fucking way. Let it wound back in. And get rid of the extra line. Now with this, I just took this off the lawnmower. The line is inside the handle. You can go ahead and pull that through until it's tight, and then we're going to tie a new knot on. I'm pop her out of here like this. Ooh, yeah. Ooga booga. All right, uh, uh. Go a little bit past where you want to be. And just a little more. Yeah, that's gonna be a good pull cord. 
Or Taya Ninak. And uh, cut the tip off. Pull this back together. <laughs> Let's try that again. This time, make a better knot. <laughs> it's always important to go ahead and pull over and make sure your knot is actually good. Because obviously mine wasn't. Hey, shut the fuck up over here. <laughs> you laughing at me and shit? <laughs> Alright, that knot should hold. And put that back up in there. Oh yeah, that's not going nowhere. And now she has a good pull cord. I don't feel like messing with this, so I'm going to just stuff that extra in there too. And bam! She's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and slap this back on the machine and get back with you. Now before I go putting that pull start cover back on, if you look at this kill switch wire back here, this plastic clip, there's two wires coming off of it. One comes through here and goes up to the kill switch right here. And then this one is the one that was tucked into the sheet metal. And this is the reason that I got it so cheap. Because that was like that. It's never going to run with this grounded out. So... I'm probably just going to cut the tip off of this and leave it there because I know what it is. And uh, that should solve that problem. It might be a good idea to see what the oil looks like. Even though I'm running the thing for two days. Oh shit, she's full. Okay, get that cover back on and I'll be right with you. Okay, she's back in one piece. I did notice it does not like to start on its own, so like, I'll have to cover the carburetor with my hand, and it will start up that way, but out of curiosity, let's just see what happens, I guess that's choke all the way on, yeah, I should have put, I put that lever in the wrong place, it's fine, and stop, we don't want stop, we want to go, give her, I don't want full throttle, this thing's loud, let's see. Drop her down. Ah, I stalled her out. Let's try that again. I never stalled it out yet. Is enough gas in here? Still gas in there. Let's try it again.
far to steer. One handed. Ah, oh, saw the route. Well, it's very difficult to use one handed, but it works. It definitely is pulling plugs. So, that's beautiful. Um, I did buy this thing to use it for working. So, I'm not really planning on making it pretty. But, uh, she's functional. What's this? I guess the handle folds up. That's a nice, nice thing to have. Got some weights. These weights are actually very heavy. Ugh. 36 pound weights on each side. Big beefy roller wheel. Solid. Sorry, camera cut off on me. Machine's on a trailer now, but it's making some fairly deep holes. I didn't cut the lawn, so it's really high. But she's doing her thing. And it is a beefcake. She's beefy as heck. I figured out why it's so hard to handle. And basically, you got to adjust the wheel height to where the wheels kind of keep it stable. Because the ground is so compacted here. My yard is it's like really bad because I drive a lot of cars through here. And uh, it's compacted pretty bad. But, uh. It works really good and that's it on this project and I'll be on to the next one eventually sorry I don't post too many videos I do work a lot and I don't have much free time but thanks for watching and uh leave some comments down below about the bluebird thanks for watching peace